I decided to do the Caregivers Strong video because I was dealing with a lot of caregivers. Many of my clients are going through major life transitions and part of that is caregiving. Some of the challenges I faced um, were about being able to make sure I took time for myself, which, you know, there were times I spectacularly failed at. The challenges I face with caregiving for my mom, even though she's independent, is that I do need to take time out of my day usually to go and to see the doctors. And I really need to um, work evenings and Saturdays to kind of make up for the time that I'm taking off during the day, which does have an impact on my family life with my husband and my son. Distance. With mom being four hours away, it's challenging. Uh, the first five weeks when mom hit critical mass was five weeks of me being away from my family. I've learned that it's not easy. It, it, it's one of the hardest jobs and at times it's most rewarding. I've learned that uh, not everybody processes this the same way. Well, many of her friends and some of the family um, can't even bear to visit her anymore. It's too hard. If I remember that he's the care receiver, that someone's on the receiving end of whatever I'm giving, it just made such a, a change in my brain and my heart that I thought, okay, this is, this is what makes the difference. And there's times that you're going to think you just can't go on. And there's going to be nasty times where in your mind you think, please die, please die, because I can't be good for you anymore and this is killing me and there were times when I thought I may even die before you because this is too big a burden for me and I can't, I can't do it anymore but then you go on whatever choice you make is your right whatever choice the other person makes is also their right but you're right and you have to honor that what I know now and what I would like other caregivers to know is that they're not alone. They need to also focus on themselves and make time for themselves and to reach out for the support that's there. So if you're caring for someone and you too feel isolated, if you feel alone, if you feel like you're drowning in overwhelm and exhaustion, there is a community there for you. We're not alone and that we do have a community that can support us and that we can continue to be there for our loved ones and take care of ourselves too.